let me introduce you to my four-wheel drive vacation home what's going on guys welcome back to another truck camping episode today i'm going to be giving you guys a detailed tour of my truck the setup everything i've done to it upgrades to make it the four-wheel drive vacation home that it is now so it's a 2010 ford f-150 and it has 116,000 miles on it first off i have a full-size bed in the back it's a three inch memory foam mattress. Just a nice quilt on top. If I crawl under the back here, I can sleep like a king. Along the sides of my bed, I have a bucket, five gallon water jug, sleeping bag, and this bag is pretty fun. I have my rock climbing shoes, an extra bag of chalk, and an extra chalk bag. Now off to the sides of my bed, I have additional storage. Just under here, I have shop towels, a funnel, an oil filter wrench, and some extra rubber for the end of my drawers so I don't get cut. I have the same on the other side. Under the bed, I have a blanket just in case I get cold at night. Now right under my bed are my window curtains. So these window covers are made from kind of a foil-like insulation. It's almost like bubble wrap. And what I did was cut the bubble wrap thinly right down the middle, slid magnets in there. Here's where I marked one of the magnets. And now they clip right up to my window. Voila. And I have them for both sides. These curtains are perfect if I need to get sleep and there's like a street light or if I'm just trying to sleep in. Along the side of the bed, I have some extra lights. These are battery powered and simply click on. These lights are clutch for putting around the truck when I need to see at night, just cause I don't have any lights up in here. Moving on to the drawers. My right drawer is my aquatic drawer. In here, I keep a full size surfboard, fins, beer gun. Let's go through it. Starting here at the top. I have an extra dry bag and my dive bag. Outside of my dive bag, I keep my lobster bag. This is a spring-loaded bag. The springs are really strong. Keeps the lobsters all tidy in there so they don't run out. On the back is a rope connected to the inside of my dive bag. Inside the dive bag, I have my light. This is for when I go diving during the night. An extra mask, my snorkel, some gloves, a case with my dive mask in it. My weight belt. It's simply a strap with some weights on it to help you sink in the ocean. It goes right around you like so. You clip in, and then you're able to sink faster. Pretty much only wear white belts when you're wearing a wetsuit because what wetsuits actually do is, is they make you more buoyant. So you have to have some extra weight to pull you down to the bottom. I almost forgot. My dive knife is on my weight belt. Now this isn't just any old dive knife. This is my new dive knife. If you wanna know what happened to my previous dive knife, go click on this video up here. It's a pretty good one. The surfboard here is a Channel Islands Bobby Quad. Probably my favorite board I've ever had. Along the side of my drawer, I have some spear guns. This is my main one, single band, really good for shooting halibut. If I ever go out with a buddy, I have an extra here. This is just a hand spear, Hawaiian sling as some call it. It's just a single elastic band on the back. And what you do is you put your thumb through it, squeeze all the way to the top. And then when you see a fish you want to spear, you let go and this will shoot. Kind of a similar concept with the spear gun, single band, except it clips onto this metal rod and it fires the metal rod out. To load it, you simply pull on the band all the way down, lock it into place, and when you're ready to fire, you can take off the safety and that will release the spear. These green fins I used for diving, they're bright, people can see me if there's boats around and whatnot, super clutch. And over here are my duffins. These are just what I use in the surf line if I'm body surfing. Just want to play around. In this old ammo crate is my wax supply. I kind of have a problem with how much surf wax. Should I do like a giveaway? Sign a bar of wax. Authentic camping with cam surf wax. Come check it out. I'll sign it, put it in the mail. Oh, I almost forgot. Down the side over here, storage space down the wheel well. Back here, I just have some extra surf fins. So there's an extra leash, some futures fins, a bungee cord, 
and a surfboard repair kit. In the surfboard repair kit, I have some gloves, sandpaper, down here is resin. I have some cement and some wax remover. Hi there. The cubby storage on the left side, I have some tie down straps. This is a bottle full of bungee cords. You never know what you're gonna need bungee cords for. Some extra rope, trash bags, more tie downs, gloves for when I'm on the side of the road, a toe strap, and a wrench. Another thing worth mentioning, these cubbies are accessible from the top if I need to get anything out while I'm inside the truck sleeping. Oh, looks like I forgot to show you the jumper cables I have back here. Here's an extra flashlight too. This left drawer is pretty much my do it all, anything you need drawer. Kind of has a little bit of everything in here. Let me take you through it. Starting here at the top, I have my extra truck fluids. I have extra oil, extra power steering fluid, brake fluid, this is coolant, and more oil. To the left, I have my jack. This jack is pretty much a do it all. It's one way to do it. So the cool thing about this device is it's a standard bottle jack, but it's also a jack stand. If I ever get a flat or need to change a tire, since my truck's lifted, I had to get a separate jack. If I do get a flat, pipe in here, start cranking it up, and like so. This is my toiletries bin. I have Colgate, toothbrush, toilet paper, deodorant, dish soap, some extra towels, also a sponge for cleaning dishes. This is just a Mexican blanket. These Mexican blankets are awesome. And this red bag. And here's a slack line and a ratchet strap. For those of you who don't know what a slack line is, it's pretty much the tightrope you can string between two trees or two poles and walk across. Next up, I have my two skateboards. This thing's pretty fun. And you always gotta have two just in case for a friend. This is just an extra beach towel, some tow rope, and a med kit. Oh yeah, this is also my camping chair. Over on this side is my table. Let's set this up here. If I want to, I can raise it up. That way it's more level with my truck bed. Down here in the back, I have a camelback. Been doing a lot of hiking lately, so this has been super clutch carrying this water on my back. My hiking shoes slash running shoes. I have a nice little hatchet, just in case I need to chop anything down. This is my full tool kit. Just in case the truck breaks down, need to fix anything. Nail a couple nails into the wall. In the past, I've used these pliers to pull nails out of my tires. Let's see if we can find one, right? This isn't a nail, but it is a rock. See, it works. And lastly, for my left drawer, I keep a rain jacket back here, just in case it starts raining on me while I'm cooking. It's always good to have a rain jacket. This is, this is my cooking area. A thick piece of plastic screwed into the original tailgate holes. On here I can cook, I can cut. It's just good to have a nice flat surface to cook on. It also has these really convenient recessions in it for cup holders and over here if I need to put like knives or anything. 
I need to clean this though. This is pretty disgusting with all the dirt on it right now. Let's go grab my cooking bin from inside my truck. If I need to cook, this is where I'm coming. I have some paper towels, two bowls, one cup, a whole bunch of salt for cleaning my cast iron pans. This is kind of all my spices down here. In my spices, I have, I have hot cocoa mix, which is not a spice, but just as good. This is some secret spice, some Kinders, extra Ziploc bags, smoked paprika, which is like the best seasoning you can get from Trader Joe's, so go grab that. Salt, pepper, olive oil, whole bunch of honey. I love honey. Honey is like B Red Bull. Wow, eat honey. I keep three pans in here. One small cast iron, one medium regular pan, and one large cast iron. I also have a plate. This plate is metal. Down here is one of my pots. Right now it's also serving as utensil storage. So I have some wood spoons, tongs, plastic forks, plastic spoons, metal fork, a metal spoon down there, and some measuring cups. Here's a couple extra trays and pans for serving my food on if I have friends. I just kind of want to mix it up. This is my camping stove. It's a Primus dual burner. On the top here is a cutting board, which just slides out. Super convenient. Right down here in the bottom is where you screw your propane in. So this stove can't take your regular like green Coleman canisters. Actually, in this case, I think it's isobutane. Yeah, isobutane. Down in the bottom of my camping kit, I have some emergency noodles and I don't usually drink coffee, but instant dark coffee. If any of you guys are looking to get into truck camping or car camping, there's one last item that I think makes your life the easiest. So in this truck, I do actually have a refrigerator. It's, it's an electric cooler, but I like to call it the refrigerator, you know. To be more specific, it's a Falcon electric cooler. This thing is awesome. If any of you guys are getting into truck camping, this is my number one pick for what you should get. That hooks into your cigarette lighter in your car. Has a cooler down there, keeps it nice and cold. Oh yeah. The one most convenient thing about having an electric cooler is that you don't have to bag up your food. It's not gonna get wet. Uh, it's just like having a refrigerator in your house. Right now it's at 35 degrees and it has 11.5 volts coming from my truck right now. I consider it a smart cooler. It never drains my battery. I keep this thing plugged in pretty much 24 seven. It's 2023 guys, come on. Cars are pretty much driving themselves. Refrigerators aren't gonna drain your car battery. Up on the front here, I have Baja Designs pod lights. Um, these are the XLR Sports. These are really useful for when driving in the snow. These pods really illuminate the ice on the road so that I don't skid out. To turn these lights on, I have a switch. These bad boys are lit. Oh, they're bright all right. Ah! I keep these covers on them though, because in California, they'll write you a ticket if they're just hanging out. Oh yeah, these are kind of recent. I, uh, I picked up these Carhartt invisible seat covers. Hide all your stains. Pretty sick. That's my truck camper setup. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions about it uh, or want any ideas, tips on how I built it or whatnot, feel free to just comment down below. I'll get back to you. I read all the comments. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this gorgeous sunset. Don't forget, just get out there get after it, put your mind to it and do it. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.